Metal surfaces are subjected to rusting as you have probably witnessed yourself already. But fortunately there are ways to prevent rusting. The best way is to apply a polymeric barrier coating. However, what happens when the coating gets scratched and the underlying metal surface gets exposed to the environment? Unfortunately, rusting will start, meaning that the metal will dissolve and precipitate as a metal oxide elsewhere. This is a severe problem because with time the corrosion continues creating an even larger cavity causing the polymer coating to delaminate. If this process continues, the function of the metal part can get compromised and the replacement becomes necessary. In our lab we develop strategies to inhibit corrosion at an early stage. Therefore we add microscopic capsules to the coating that are loaded with corrosion inhibitors. Once the metal gets scratched, corrosion can start. But after a short time the capsules release their content to form a protective film on the metal. This film prevents the corrosion from spreading underneath the coating by a process called passivation. Here you see examples of such capsules, visualized by electron microscopy. They typically have a thin shell and encapsulate large amounts of corrosion inhibitors. We can make these capsules in different sizes, even as small as only a few hundred nanometers, ideal for coatings in aerospace applications. After we introduce the capsules into a coating, our microscope allows us to visualize their three-dimensional distribution within the coating. We then test the barrier and self healing properties of the coatings. To this end, we employ a technique called electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. The 3D graph on the left shows the complex electrical resistance of different coatings over time. Larger semicircles indicate higher electrical resistance and better anti-corrosive properties of the coating. The other graph on the right shows a frequency plot of two different coatings. The red curves represent a coating that decays over time due to corrosion and the green curve shows a strong and corrosion resistant coating. These met methods allow us to compare different coatings quantitatively and to learn which coatings work best to prevent corrosion.